Hey there everyone, back to the normal workouts after that really successful mock meet that I was incredibly happy with and how that resulted on uh, Sunday. But started out with squats, then bench, then squats again today, and this it was a mentally taxing workout. Uh, the, the numbers weren't, weren't ridiculous. I did up my training maxes a little bit more. Um, I've been doing that consistently every time a workout feels like it's easy I increase the weights for the next one that's something I wouldn't recommend doing with the Shaco stuff it's just something I like to do uh, because I don't know anytime I finish a workout easily I feel like I, I shouldn't have been able to and so I, I always am, am pushing to do more uh, here's my first work set this was kind of a, a it wasn't five sets of three it was two sets of three here at 490 yeah, it was supposed to be two sets of two here at 520 and then back down to 490 for another two triples. And the the thing about this kind of a workout is it's really hard to get mentally focused for those first lighter weights or even these heavier ones because you know you've got more to do. Um, there's six work sets total after the warm-ups. It, it, just the volume itself is kind of intimidating and it's hard to get yourself mentally prepped for every single set. It's one of those things you just have to do. This is the second set of 520 and I decided to uh, pause them because I don't know why. I just, I, this is definitely the most weight that I've paused in a long time and instead of doing two I decided to go for three because I don't know, because three sounds more impressive than two. So I did it, and I think, what, last week or two weeks ago, I did 505 for a pause triple, and so that's a 15-pound increase from that. Back down to the 490, I wasn't super happy with the depth um, of that last set. I mean, it was it was decent depth, but I wanted to try to make these last two sets a little bit lower, and so I tried to relax more at the bottom, and I think I achieved it. Yeah. It's squatting is hard when you do it this much. <laughs> it doesn't even matter what the weight is. When you've got six work sets going, it gets pretty rough. So moved over to the bench press. Um, after the mock meet, I decided that I really wanted to concentrate on having my feet down and getting used to that position. Uh, I wanted to try to get used to benching with the with the new grip, and so I figured that I'll go as high as I can um, with the close grip until that starts to happen, until I start to lose a little bit on my right, and then I'm going to switch to my normal grip. So this is uh, 330, and I move my grip out for the last three work sets of two. You see that I scared Alicia a little bit. She didn't, she, didn't, she thought I was going to, I just misgrooved a little bit, and she almost grabbed it. But I, I told her no in the middle of the set, because she should know better than touch the bar, unless I tell her to. After that, went back over and did some speed pause squats. Um, just threw 405 straight on, did five doubles, because a speed pause set for me is just a double. Felt a lot better than last week when I went back over to squats and put on and was doing reps with them, so I was happy with that. After that, I did uh, some calf work, a lot of shoulder, a lot of shoulder work, um, did some actual overheads and stuff, and then these a uh, little bit of core. I haven't done these in a long time. Uh, they're called dragon flags, or I used to call them Rocky Fours. I don't know. This they'll shred your they'll shred your uh, your core like crazy. It's it, it just absolutely taxes everything in there to hold them. And then I like to split and do the twist right there. It just everything in your core is engaged, and yeah, I think they look pretty cool too. Shout out to Sylvester Stallone for being the inspiration for that. But next session, I'm going to go in and hit uh, some bench pressing and a lot of deadlifting. So looking forward to that. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you for all the views I got in that last video. Uh, continue leaving the questions and comments. I absolutely love that. And if you enjoy this video, let me know by liking it. If you want to continue supporting me and following my journey here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you haven't, and share it with your friends. Thanks again. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.